Retirement without hobbies, friends, or interests. Not as bleak as it sounds. When I think of retirement, it paints a mental picture. No alarm clock, no office politics, just a wide open schedule to do whatever you want. Yet for some retirees, this is exactly the problem. They've got the open schedule, but nothing to fill it with. But don't let that void alarm you. It's actually an underestimated opportunity to rediscover who you are outside the confines of a nine to five. Start with small experiments. Since living near Portland, Oregon, I've seen numerous retirees turn the page to new chapters they'd never even considered before hanging up their work boots. Even with no previous hobbies, so to speak, the world's your oyster to try new things. You might take a cooking class or join a hiking group like the Mazamas, even if you've never hiked before. Portland's abundant with local organizations that offer these beginner-friendly experiences. Volunteer work, a door to new worlds. Volunteering is another extraordinary avenue. It not only gets you out of the house, but also connects you with people and causes that can give a fresh sense of purpose. We've got organizations like Meals on Wheels that are always looking for help. Diving into philanthropic activities can fill your days with meaningful interactions and the joy that comes from helping others. Educational endeavors for the Eternal Student Community Colleges in Portland, like PCC, offer a range of classes you can take just for fun. Ever thought about studying astronomy or learning about local history? Retirement could be your own personal renaissance period, the therapeutic power of nature. It's also a prime time to mingle with nature. If you don't feel like going all out on a mountain trail, even a leisurely stroll along the Willamette River can be invigorating. There's science behind how nature affects morale and health positively. So even if you're not already a nature enthusiast, why not give it a shot? Stepping into the social circle. Then in a more urban setting, coffee shops, bookstores, the local library. These places often have bulletin boards with local groups and clubs. From chess clubs to book clubs, these settings can become conduits to friendship and community involvement. No prior experience necessary. And technology is our friend. Lastly, let's not forget the role of technology. It connects us to communities online where you can find like-minded individuals or explore interests that never seemed accessible before. So, what's the takeaway? Retirement is less about having hobbies and friends at the get-go and more about being open to cultivating them. You don't need to have a pre-planned life post-career. Sometimes the most fulfilling activities and connections come from just diving into uncharted waters of the retirement years. The initial absence of hobbies, friends, or interests? It's not a full stop. Think of it as a blank canvas. And believe me, you don't need to be an artist to start painting. 